guys welcome back to my channel so today is a consumer tag video which means I'll be answering some very interesting questions that has to do with consumerism and as someone who loves makeup who's obsessed with makeup and who also does a YouTube channel what are some of my thoughts and opinions when it comes to purchasing makeup so let's get started So I saw this really interesting tag, consumer tag on YouTube that was going around and I thought that I would get in on that tag and just talk about what it's like as a consumer and really that's where I'm at being a YouTuber or you could say an influencer. I don't know if I'm influencing anyone yet at the moment. Getting ready to go to church here in a bit and I want to put on my makeup while I answer some of the consumer tag questions. Question one, how much do you spend on makeup per month or year? All I can say is um, I am a VIB member under Sephora and that means a VIB has to spend more than $350 a year on makeup purchases and then i'm also a platinum member on ulta um, which means you have to spend at least 500 dollars a year on purchases i would say on minimum i spend about 800 dollars a year um, on makeup but that's not including like subscription box purchases, which I only have two subscription box, my Face Story one and BoxyCharm. Um, that doesn't include my drugstore purchases. So things that I buy at Walmart or at Target that are more affordable makeup or um, from Face Story. I am a Face Story affiliate and so I do buy a lot of face masks because I'm really into Korean face masks lately. So I would say on average, I spend about, just to be safe, a thousand dollars worth of makeup a year, about $100 a month or so. Um, don't tell my husband that. <laughs> but part of it also is because um, I started my YouTube channel and so I've been buying a few more makeup, maybe not necessarily what I need, but maybe it's what I wanna try and review. Definitely being a YouTuber really influenced my, my spending. Question number two. Do you ever feel guilty about how much you spend on makeup? That is a resounding yes. Really what I feel guilty about is spending money and spending time on YouTube without really getting paid. Or maybe the growth for my channel has been so slow compared to everybody else that I feel like, hmm, is this really worth it? Sometimes um, I feel that guilt like I'm taping here instead of playing a board game with my family, preparing for my YouTube instead of participating on movie night with my kids and my my family. And that's what really makes me feel guilty more than the spending. Actually knowing what you spend and how much you want to spend each month really keeps me grounded. And setting that limit on myself when I know I start going above that on a monthly basis, then I know I need to hold off. And I'm usually pretty good at saying, no, I can wait next month. Um, and part of it is really planning, like when are the sales coming up? Um, to lower that guilt is looking for a good deal, getting more bang for your buck in a way. Do you get FOMO, FOMO related to new makeup releases? So FOMO meaning fear of missing out, right? I would say kind of yes and no. Yes, as a YouTuber, I feel like I need to provide the latest and the greatest content out there as far as makeup goes. Prior to my channel, I never had a fear of missing out. I mean, I love makeup, but it was always because of what I want and what I need and not because of what everybody else has. So I follow a lot of YouTubers. I don't buy it because, oh my gosh, this person has it and I don't have it. I buy it because is it gonna work for me? Is it gonna work for my skin type? Do I have this type of eyeshadow color? Do I need it? You know, that kind of thing. So I am very critical and logical as far as my purchases. 
yeah, just to answer that, prior to my channel, I bought what I wanted to buy. I was never a follower, actually. Um, I don't follow trends. I follow what I want, what fits my style. So that's just always been me. But yeah, now that I have my channel, I do have that feeling of, oh, I'm missing out. I'm missing out that I can't buy the latest and the most popular trend that's happening right now on, on the makeup and beauty world. Question number four. Do you purchase or keep items simply because they are limited edition? I don't, not at all. I would say I'm not into limited edition products because sometimes it's they're just not my style. I like the original packaging better, if that makes sense. Sometimes they come out with great, great limited edition products. Usually my criteria is, is it unique? Is it my style? And do I need it? So if it meets all of those criteria, yes, I'll purchase them. If not, then no, I pass. Question number five, would you be willing to pay more money for a sold out product online? The answer is a big fat no. <laughs> when I miss out on something, I like to believe in kind of destiny sometimes. Does that make sense? If I wanted it so bad and it sold out and I didn't get it, then it was meant to be. And I always say to myself, like if I miss out on a makeup, there's always, always something better that comes along brands nowadays are so creative and they're coming out with so much makeup that i feel like there's always going to be something better in my situation where i work very very part-time i have two kids pretty much a one income family i really cannot afford to be paying more for products for makeup products that are not a necessity you know and even if it was a necessity i would find the next best alternative to that rather than paying more for products so that's just me question number six do you wish you could spend more or less so sometimes i do wish i could spend more but that's only when i'm having that fomo feeling you know <laughs> or when i see people unbox subscription boxes sometimes i'm like Oh, I wish I had that tea subscription box since I love to drink tea. So sometimes I do wish I could spend more. But if I take a step back and really think about what I have and that there's so many things in my life and what I have that I should be grateful for, I feel like, no, I'm content. Um, I don't feel like i wish i could spend less because i don't feel like i'm i'm an overly big spender i don't feel like i wish i could spend more so yeah so let's just say i'm neutral and i'm content question number seven do you feel compelled to buy something when you see it in someone else's collection yes there are some youtubers that i follow that when it comes to lipsticks or makeup I love watching them. For example, Coffee Break with Danny. She and I were both moms. We're both around the same age. Um, well, I am like five years older than her, but um, I love her uh, sense of style and it's definitely my kind of style. If we have that same sense of style, you tend to follow that naturally. And so I guess my answer to that question, it depends. It depends on what my style is and it depends on that type of person. But definitely I do more research first. The idea usually comes from someone else and then I do a little more research and decide whether it's for me or whether I'm gonna pass. Question number eight, do you buy more during the holidays? I would say definitely yes. There are a lot of sales during the holidays and definitely during the holidays, it's the time of giving, it's the time of giveaways and not just Christmas, right? Um, 4th of July sale, Ulta's 21 days of beauty sale, the spring sale, the summer sale, Mother's Day. There's always something out there. And so, yeah, I tend to spend more during the holidays. Question number nine. Have you ever hidden makeup purchase from family and friends? Wow. 
That's an interesting question for anybody. My husband and I share the same bank account. And so it's hard to really hide purchases from him. I don't tell him that I purchased something until he finally sees it. And then he's like, what the? But honestly, I have a very understanding husband. He's actually the first person who encouraged me to start a YouTube channel. I've always been a stay at home mom. And so, um, when I said I want to do something, you know, something to keep me busy and he suggested why not start a YouTube channel and so from then on he's been really supportive. The people who really truly care, friends and family have been very very supportive when it comes to my purchases in makeup. I don't really have that motive to like, oh, I'm not gonna tell him that I bought this. I'll just surprise him with it. <laughs> surprise, I bought this. Yeah. Question number 10. Do you have more than 10 products in your collection that you haven't used in over a month? Yes. Yes, definitely. I have a lot of makeup. I review a lot of makeup. I've got multiple br blushes, multiple colors from multiple brands. And yes, there's a lot of makeup that I haven't used. And I'm guilty of that. My husband sometimes even says, your makeup brushes grows like mushrooms <laughs> because they just keep popping up here and there. But I love them and I rotate through all of them. At least I try to. I must say that I do own some makeup here that I haven't used in a while and just needs a little bit more attention. But I'm not at that point where I have Alex drawers behind me with a whole bunch of makeup. I don't think I'll ever get there. I don't believe in that kind of wastefulness and overspending where you're like a Sephora where people can shop for makeup in your drawers. That's not me. I love to declutter by the way. Every year I declutter. Question number 11. Have you ever been pressured to purchase something you could not afford or did not need? A lot of times, especially when you watch YouTube videos, you feel so pressured to buy because they're so pretty because you wish you had it. And a big part of them are the subscription boxes. Like, who doesn't want a good bargain, right? Like FabFitFun box, you're paying $40 and you get over $200 worth of products. It's such a bargain. And these products are known brands. These products are things you could buy and you can definitely prove and say, yeah, that's how much it really costs. Oh, the other thing that I feel pressured to purchase are like the Natasha Denona palettes, certain high-end brands. I feel like I do gravitate towards high-end brands, but only if they perform well. And I'm very critical, especially with high-end brands, because if you don't do well, I don't care what your brand name is. Um, but I am pressured. Like I have been wanting to try Natasha Denona palettes forever but I just could never justify myself to buy them with my own money. And maybe someday I'll buy the smaller, like five pan palettes, and maybe I'll try that because I really do want to try them. But then again, the colors in those palettes are also in the same palettes that I already own now. And so it's kind of hard sometimes, but yes, I do feel pressured, especially when it comes to high-end brands. I'm putting my storybook back. Question number 12, do you purchase makeup for collector reasons? Never, not at all. I purchase makeup because I want to know how the eyeshadow feels. I want them on the eyes. I love the color. I want to try them firsthand. It's too impractical for me to just purchase something and not touch it and not open it. I need to put it to good use. The last question. In your makeup journey, have you become less or more consumeristic? Okay, I'm going to put on some earrings and just finish off the look. Okay, according to this, consumerism means the protection of the interest of consumers. Hold on, I can't do makeup and think at the same time. Going by that definition of wanting to protect the interest of consumers, it's really what my channel stands for. I try to be a review channel and, and really my goal is to give advice and to give my honest and personal opinion 
with hopefully some research behind it. And my intent is so that you as a consumer could buy and make your purchases wisely and make a sound decision when it comes to your purchases. So definitely I'm all for consumerism. I don't want to be that person to tell you to buy a hundred dollar palette when you can maybe find one that is, you know, a quarter of the price. But definitely everyone has a certain budget. Maybe you already have that really good drugstore palette and you want to try high-end palettes and there's nothing wrong with that, but I'll tell you if it's good or not. Um, I don't care if it's Chanel or if it's Dior, you know, if the palette stinks, if the product stinks, if it doesn't work for me, for my skin tone, for my skin type, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy it. Um, that's just me and you'll always get the honest and straight upfront opinion here on my channel and so hopefully you guys appreciate that that is it guys with this uh, makeup consumer tag I really really enjoyed answering the questions it's been fun and hopefully that kind of gave you an idea of what my channel is more about and also kind of gave you an idea of what I am and my personality with that said if you've made it to the end of this video this is also a giveaway video guys so in this video I am tagging Sherry Burnett, Kate White and Leslie Arana they all have YouTube channels and I'm tagging you girls you beautiful ladies to actually do this consumer tag us four ladies have also agreed on doing a giveaway please head on to their channel to watch their consumer tag video and also sign up to win their own giveaway so in my giveaway I'm gonna be putting a picture of what you could win it's a small mini giveaway but I hope you guys will really appreciate it all of the rules in order to enter in this giveaway are gonna be in the description box below definitely you must be subscribed to my channel if you don't win in my giveaway there's always another chance to win in Sherry Kate's or Leslie's giveaway so go hop onto their channel show them some love subscribe to them if you'd like um, I'm sure you'll enjoy watching their videos if you want to enter in the giveaway please write a comment below and say enter me and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that is it guys hope you enjoyed this simple get ready with me and also this consumer tag video hope it was entertaining hoping that you learned something in this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here i do post videos once a week so subscribe join the family and as always i'll see you back in my channel soon bye